Hello, dear students. This week we covered theme one reading vocabulary, whose title is Person to Person. Since the title is Person to Person, it's mainly about communication. And people can communicate through many ways. They can send an SMS, which stands for Short Message Service. Others can make a phone call, send an email, letter, or a fax, or they can just chat online or send voicemails. Now, what kind of devices or gadgets can people use to communicate? So the word gadgets is another word for devices. They mean the same thing. Gadgets also can mean applications. So people can use mobile phones, tablets, laptops, PCs, and so on. Some people are keen on following the latest trends or fashions of mobile phones, like iPhone 12, iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone XS Max, and so on. Because they, but because they are very expensive, they should save up money in order to be able to buy them. However, some people think mobile phones are very important or invaluable. So the word invaluable means very important or very useful. Why others disagree? Some people think mobile phones make it easy for them to contact each other as they can just give a buzz to reach each other. So to give a buzz means to call someone or communicate with someone. Some other people are concerned about their risks and dangers. So schools ban using mobile phones. So to ban means not to allow. They don't allow using both. Moreover, it really gets on the parents' nerves when they find their sons and daughters talking and chatting on the phone for long hours. So to get on someone's nerves is to make them annoyed and bothered. And they're always moaning about the bill. They are complaining about the bill. Why? They're the ones who pay, right? Some parents think mobile phones are really complicated, are really difficult to use. And they always ask their children to help. However, you always keep tabs on them or monitor them to make sure that they use it safely. So now we're done with the new account of this team. And these are supposed to read the text on page six and seven, then answer the exercises C and T. Thank you so much. See you later.